is a dream. <sighs> what? Naila, mm. you walk out of because of a dream? Yes. Uh-uh, no, Naila. That is if you have another job to turn to. Honestly, that your nice sleep can only cost you your job as a palace maid. Where's Naila? If you take this job seriously, just tell me she has already started working. Question. How did you do it? Do you know what it took for me to go back to sleep last night? After that hard run. We've got work to do. When you're done with your nice thing, you can come and join us. Morning again. You know, anytime is morning. Thank you. Let me take my shower. I'll join you this morning. Single snake. I mean, not even a dying one. 
Mother, just relax. Everything's gonna be fine. I have something to do in my room. I'll catch you later. Thank you. Thank you, son. Anyway. It was so real. I never knew what I was doing. I knew what I saw. And I was most certainly not dreaming. This parcel to Ichie Awonum's house. It is meant for his wife, and you must personally give it to her. Yes, Your Majesty. I'm sorry to ask, Your Majesty. This is money. Is it meant for Ichie Awonum's wife? Yes, it is meant for whom I ask you to give it to. It's huge, Your Majesty. You must only give her this if you trust her. Naila, I know that you are gifted, but you mustn't take liberties with my openness to insult my friends. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I could never insult your friends. I beg to be pardoned. But Your Majesty, Whatever she needs this money for, can surely wait one more month. And if after one month, she gives you a single reason to trust her, you may give her this and more. Then you may relieve me of my duties or do whatever it is you please with me. You know, in as much as I strongly subscribe to the fact that parents should not have problems with their children over marital issues, I still believe that parents should still respect the choices of their children to be with whoever they want to be with. Deb, listen to me. Marriage is not just about the man and the woman. I mean, the husband and, and the wife. wife yeah. In Africa here, especially in Igbo land, it goes a long way to bind two families together. That's the reason why the choice of marriage is not left to the couples alone. Okay, so um, if you're going to get married and your parents don't approve of it, are you going to call off the wedding? Well, it's left with me to convince them to accept you. And if they don't? Well, it's up to me to convince them to accept you. No, don't die, Mattis. <laughs> Answer the question if they don't. Listen, listen, there's only justification for acceptance or rejection. <laughs> you <laughs> want that? Just, no, you have to answer. <laughs> no, no, it's simple. If, okay, you talk to them and you either convince them or not. Okay, now, if they don't feel convinced enough, what would you do? They won't get married. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm going to kill myself. When Idika and uh, Ekwadu told me all about it, it took all my power of concentration to hide the shock and surprise. I went and asked questions. And then found out that everything that I was told was the truth. Didn't it ever occur to him that the kingship of Ifite is hereditary? Uh, 
He just came into money and thought the best thing to do was to take me and throw me away from the land of my forefathers. Have you ever had problems with him? I don't, I don't think I have ever met him or I've never had anything to do with him as such. But if he thinks it's all about money, <laughs> then I will fight him with my last couple. My dear, please whatever you are doing, I want you to apply wisdom and caution. Hmm? I think I have to retire back to my room now. People call you Prince. And you puff your shoulders so high. I'm going to clip those wings, those shoulders of yours. Very soon. But I have a message for your father. Tell him I will pay him a visit very, very soon. And who the hell do you think you are? The man that will make sure you never become king in your life. You see that throne? It belongs to me. That's the message I have for you, for your father. And I heard you ask, who are you? Malcolm, in case you go around. Malcolm, A to Z. You sure have the guts. But let me warn you. You see that through. Never ever think of it in your life. Shut up. Never. Shut up. Take it back to his lousy car. Bullets! Take him out. Lift him up. Because he has disrespected me and I intend to take things personal with him. Son, one must learn not to be too much in a hurry to lick one's fingers because you're not going to lock them up in a safe. Be patient. Let him exhibit the foolishness in his wisdom. After that, Anything else you want from, from him. Anything to say, anything you want, it will go very smoothly. But Father, I'm of the school of thought that believes that a child must be allowed to cut the hand that holds what rightfully belongs to him. Because these days, a man can hold what belongs to a child and will never ever get weary. Mm. Son. The other night, when you were attacked and bundled out of your car, you did not fight back. You know why you did not fight back? Because they were numerically stronger. 
If you had fought back, you would not be in the state you are in right now. Now, that is what I call wisdom. Ah. Your Majesty. Yes. Ezizu is here to see you, sir. Ah. Um, tell him I'll be with him in a moment. Yes, Your Majesty. In the throne room. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes. Be patient with Malcolm. I'll see you when you get back from work. Okay. All right, Father. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, my friends. What are you doing on my bed? I I actually thought you were going to um I'm very sorry, sir. I don't want to repeat myself again. What are you doing on my bed? Uh, nothing serious, sir. I, I, I was just, I was just playing with my thoughts. Oh, playing with your thought. And what could that mean? Sir, I, I was just imagining how to be sharing the bed with you. Jesus. Mm -hmm. There's nothing sharing my bed with me. So now that you have finished whatever you're doing in my room, can you leave? And don't let this repeat itself again, okay? Okay? Your Majesty, the Pythons are the only messengers Ezu has and never cobras. Mm, I need answers. The zebras and the young ones wear the same skin. Why don't the reptiles leave my people be? I will consult Ezu when I get home, Your Majesty. Chieftain's title when he came back and wanted one. Hmm, yes. It sounds stupid. Very stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I actually remember. And I have no regrets. You wanted him to give him Chieftain's title. Just simply because like that. he has made money. Nobody knows how he made it. Well, Chieftain's title is not for just anybody. 
is for people who have uh, contributed to their community selflessly. Mm -hmm. For anybody who just makes any kind of money and wants to throw it around, like Malcolm. Yes, he made some money, we didn't know how, or do we? No. Then he comes and says he wants a title. <laughs> this is not the essence of a title taken in Igbo land. You know? Or neither is it for this throne here. Udebe, I heard you. Good. Loud and clear. But I've got a message for you. That throne you're sitting on belongs to me. I will personally dethrone you and then reign in your state. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. Nothing. As for you, our See your boats whining and dining with him. Yes. But let me tell you both of you something. If you want to continue wallowing in penny, go ahead. Otherwise, come, pick your tent to me. Welcome. I don't blame the guards who let you in. But if you do not leave my palace in one minute, I will send the same guards on you and they will teach you a lesson you will never forget for the rest of your life. As you can see, I am already on my way out. Good. But I hope I have made myself clear. That My hand before I don't have a money. Hey, see this thief. What this thief here, you, what she doesn't know is that I counted that money. I counted it to make sure it was enough for what I wanted to buy at the market. Before she came in now, eh? I knew I left. Now I just came in. And I thought, if you don't buy that money, eh? How much is it? 4,000 naira. 4,000, not even one. No. Instructions, I expect you to follow up immediately, okay? Over there, stand there. Good. Now you listen up. Okay? You see that throne? It belongs to me. 
I'm going to come back to take over that throne. And when I take over the throne, I'm not going to be needing people like you. People like you with bushy hairs like this. You know, people like you. Uncapped kind of hair. And then mates dressed like you. No. I'm going to be needing some more professional hands because we're going to be doing things more professionally. So as we speak, I uh, expect that you begin to like pack your bags. Better still look for jobs somewhere else. Okay? Staring at me like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Naila. I'm really sorry. Naila, how did you know that I stole the money and even where I hid it? You did. You shouldn't have. I mean, why would you? Ma, who is after you? Do you girls know that that woman that has been making rounds that Malcolm is fighting for the throne of Ifiti? Is that truly really true? What are you talking about? Malcolm just left the palace. No, no, no. Just now that I went outside, though, he gathered all the palace guys that were outside, including me, and told us that eh, once he becomes Igwe, that all of us are out of work. The smart thing. He was telling me to come and tell the people so that you follow me and here if I rush to the market. Let me start going. I'm coming now, no, let me just rush. I'm coming back now. Naila, we better start looking for other jobs. <laughs> Why? You're talking as if you don't know what these elders that call themselves kingmakers can do. They can confidently sell off their mothers for money. If Malcolm decides to give them good money, they will betray the Igwe and crown him king. I told you, the only way to bring this fight home into the heart of the Igwe is to take the offense straight to the palace. <laughs> In that way, your intention to take over the throne will no longer be a heresy, <laughs> but a reality. <laughs> Chief Howe! <laughs> I don't know why I can call you this. For you to have my impression on them, you're coming for that. I'm so glad I did like you told me. Yes. Did you not see the king? He was shaking. Shaking. You know? <laughs> his eyes were almost like popping up. <laughs> Fears all over his eyes. <laughs> you know, you will be foolish to want to fight me. Hmm? But you see, what would have been the master stroke would have been if you had supported me. If you had backed me. <laughs> I tell you something, eh? Ichiao, the king would have fainted on the spot. <laughs> because that is what you are. You see, that would have destroyed my carefully laid out plan. Hmm? In this world, we are using divide and rule tactics. And it is called Torobom. <laughs> Some elders are in support of you openly. Yes. While others are still with the e way I must be seen to be in the neutral position. Yes. As the peacemaker. In that way, the two sides will trust you. Hey? I will be able to get information from the palace. And I will also know 
when saboteurs have entered our camp. Certainly not stupid. That is why they call me Amor. Amor Oko. Amor Nezigozinemigwe. The smoke that delivers heaven bound messages. I had to avoid any of his plans that would blow up my cover. <laughs> Don't you think? It will affect getting your own share of the money. Ah, yeah? Ugo Ma. Ah, ah, Malcolm has been sharing 10,000, 20,000 to the elders. But you are expecting 500,000 naira from the queen to set up your own business. What do you think will happen if they discover that I am now backing Malcolm? What do you think will happen? My husband. I think you have a point here. 
Oh, we point, yeah. will get our own share of money <laughs> from them. And then I will declare my stand. <laughs> if they fight us, Marco will fight them. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you. Hey. 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 Thirty thousand naira. Malcolm gave it to me for just transport. It's just for transport. For transport, though. Hey. Mm. No. Mm? Both of us we're going to enjoy the fight between Malcolm and Ibu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll enjoy the fight, eh? <laughs> See, remember, it is a game of Torobom. Torobom. <laughs> Oh, come here. Mm. Hey! Hey! Mm. Oh, kiri kiri kada buko sa da ri elu. Akwa o kada baji. Ana ba ye kwara kan gure baji. Onye ne je ahia de je nsuta ahia. Ah! What do you mean? Are you people expecting me to stay behind? I swear away. Is that how you are going to be our king in the future? You're right, Erika. You're right, Erika. I can't ever be a coward. I'm not a coward. Follow me and I'll prove that to you. He's dead. He's dead. Are you sure? He's dead. <laughs> I told you. He may kind of have you. Flush it. A problem known is a problem half solved. We shall see today. Hello, mother. What's the problem? Okay, okay, I'll be there as soon as I can. Abba. Wait. I have to go home. I have to sort some things out. So I'll see you tomorrow after church, okay? Alright, take care of yourself. Babes, are you alright? I'm fine. See you tomorrow. Between a quadro and a dika, I will advise we go for a dika. Mm. You think um, it's a better choice, huh? We all have are different family problems. But right now, Idika is worse hit. He is facing some serious family problems right now. That's a valuable piece of information you just gave me. I also heard that his car engine got locked. And of course, he doesn't have the money to repair it. In fact, Idika needs money more than the federal government. <laughs> In that case, I'm going to pay him a visit. Bam! And then see what comes out of it. Mm hmm. Father, mother, what is it you were telling me before? Malcolm came to the palace to threaten your father. I had to call you immediately after 
He narrated everything to me. He wanted my throne. I know the eyes of the greedy and desperate men. Malcolm is no different. Amen. My son, I want you to be careful with whatever you do. If Malcolm can come to threaten your father like the way he did, he might think of harming you. Son, you have to be very watchful. It's all right, father. I know he tried the same thing on me, but I can take care of myself. In the meantime, I think you should report this thing to the police. But he has never threatened us. But Father, what's the difference? Are you waiting for him to do it before you hold it against him? No! Please, don't treat this issue with kid glove. Please. The snake that strikes at the shell of our tortoise will only damage its teeth. You can't stop me. Yes. Um, Your Majesty, I, I'd like to tell you something. I hope you don't mind. What is it? Some bad boys are going to attempt to murder the prince. Which prince? Prince Emeka. Naila, is this one of your visions or a joke? No, Your Majesty. It's not a joke. Hey, Kachi. Hey. Man, what's up? Hey, what's up? So, what's up? Man, I think, see, man, uh, I think this is the best place to carry out this operation. You understand? Hey, Kachi, you know what you have to do now? You have to move into the palace as to inform us when he leaves. I, you know what to do. Sure. Stay out of sight, okay? Sure. One love. Move okay. on, move on. Uh, this is the plan, eh? Uh, if he show up, you understand? We will greet him. You understand? Definitely. He must slow down to greet us. Then we strike one hand. See, guy, I've always insisted that shooting this guy is the best option for us. We are not shooting anybody. We are going to take him as quietly as possible. Then we can only shoot if necessary. I, one law, forget it, man. Forget it, forget it. Come on. I really thank God that I can now see a visible change in you, my son. 
<laughs> God has made it for us. Baba, God knows we've suffered enough. God knows we've suffered enough in this town, in this country. Yes. Papa, and he decided to bless us abundantly. Exactly. On his own, bless me, you, yes. everybody, mama, through me. That is true, my son. That is truth. In fact, I am now a happy man. Hmm? Papa, <laughs> you should be proud. Yes. Papa, look at me now. See me now. <laughs> Our days of softness, poverty, Luck, Papa, is over. Amen. Papa, your son is rich. <laughs> Papa, look at me now. Papa, Papa, make Barry. Eat money. Eat money. Eat Barry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. You have to, you have to get yourself. No. Papa, 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 you, know, you know what it is? Yes. You know what it is? Yes. I'm rich. I'm rich now. I just want him. Yeah. Papa, tap it. Tap it here. Tap it. We call it cheers. Correct. Papa, stop it. Knock it. Which way? Knock it. Papa, this is not Mr. Nozo, man. Come on. <laughs> Papa, this is Noko. Correct. <laughs> Papa, it's too much, man. <laughs> Papa, make Mary. Your son is free. I'm making it. Wait, 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 wait. I'm forgetting something. Let me check. What's that? Papa, this is called, called, called body feet, man. I'm body feet. <laughs> so, I can... You know what? I'll take it. Put it on, man. <laughs> I'm proud of you, my son. Give me this. You're on his. Give me five minutes of day. Is that right? What is it? What is it? Sorry. 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 Fera! Sorry, sorry, my son. Sorry.
Why are they keeping us waiting? I, 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 I am totally lost. I'm confused. I don't think I can wait any longer. I have to go to his tribe. They say so. I must get to his tribe. Okay, Your Majesty. Because I, I, I don't understand what the hell is going on. I'll give him a bit more time. I'll give him a bit more time. Because he said he was coming this morning. It's been long catchy call to tell us he has left the palace. I mean, I wonder what's holding him. I have told you. We would have just gone to the palace and shoot him there point blank. How this time wasting me? I don't understand it. Uzo, I've warned you severally and I've told you this. We are not going to shoot anybody. I mean, that gun is for emergency. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> why you even like to the keepers in any answer? Now nah, free yourself. Uh, wait, wait, wait. My guy, that's him, that's him, that's him. He's cruising, he's cruising. <laughs> hey! No. I can't stop, I can't stop! I can't stop! <laughs> Tubu, we'll have finished this guy in the palace. Go, 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 go. Let me see what you Babe, I have put in so much in my relationship with Emita. And I am not ready to take it kindly to anyone who wants to deny me my God-given rights. Which is? To become a maker's wife and the future queen of your <laughs> Wait, are you not trying to tell me that you're ready to bring out your entire arsenal and wage World War III against Malcolm? My dear, don't even bother about what I'm going to do. Just be rest assured that your friend, I, Sophia, I am ready to fight. No one, not even Malcolm, will stand on my way. This is a relationship I have put my life, my soul, my love, my body, every part of me into. No, I must fight. For this one, me, I will fight. I hate. I don't even want to think it. I'm Gololo! Oh, go go Peter! Oh, go go Peter, I can't Oh, eh? Only one day's losing one. Ah! You need the movie, okay? I saw so, yeah. You go there, okay? What did the gods say? The snakes you see are not from Ezu. Then where are they from? And why are they tormenting me and my family? I don't have any other thing to tell you, Your Majesty. I am only a messenger. My dear, I don't know why I am doing this. But deep down inside me, I know I should appreciate everything you have been doing, especially to me and the entire royal family in general. Your Majesty, I, I don't understand. I mean, I, I really have done nothing. Naila, thank you very much. You have been such a nice girl. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm, I'm so honored. Thank you. I don't know how to thank you for everything you've done for me too. 
You are a very good girl, and I wish you to continue to be good. Thank you, Your Majesty. Chibo! 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 Please, Chibo! Chibo! Very good of you, my dear. Please have your seat, my dear. Thank you. Your Majesty. Thank you. Drop it on the table. Yes, Your Majesty. Emmy, what is the matter? Baby, who is Chibo? My childhood friend. Can you imagine? He just came back from the city only yesterday to be bitten by a snake to death. We couldn't even find the snake. I'm so sorry. Mother, they told me earlier today that I shouldn't go out. I did. And I was almost killed. Is there something I should know? Emeka. Naila warned that you will be attacked when you go out today. You have never heeded to any of her warnings. That is why I couldn't tell you that the warning came from her. I don't understand is that Ezezu had nothing to tell me. What I find more disturbing is the fact that he did not come to the palace to see me. He waited for me to come to the shrine. That is strange. I must agree with you. But if he says that Ezu has nothing else to tell you, then you have to take it like that. Um, by the way, is it python or cobra that you see? I've always seen cobra, just like everyone else in the palace. We all know that it doesn't use cobras to send messages or even to attack those that have incurred his wrath. So if this is a spiritual attack, I don't think it's from Ezra. You know, I don't know what to think anymore. I don't. I need to know who wanted to attack me early this morning. I... I do not understand what you're talking about, my prince. 
I told my mother I'll be attacked. She asked me not to go out. I want to know where the attack is coming from. I, I, I don't know where the attack came from. That was all I saw in my dream. I am the one being shot here. I need to know. You are the one who can see. You, you have an idea. Listen, tell me something, okay? I want to know. You're hurting me, my friend. Really, I, I honestly do not know where the attack came from. It could have come from anybody. A political opponent. A spited girl. A colleague. Really, I... I do not know where it came from, my friends. Wait a minute. You don't know my bed. Um, nothing serious. I, I, I was just... I was just playing with my thoughts. Oh. Playing with your thought. And what could that be? Sir, so I I was just imagining how it would be sharing your bed with you. Are you sure Chisong does not know anything about the attack on me today? I do not know, my friends. I told you everything I know. I... I beg to excuse my friends. Yeah. Of course, what I have always seen is Cobra and not Python. Mm. Something is wrong somewhere. And I am not going to rest until I find out exactly what it is. Our enemies may be somewhere working. Whatever it is, I must find out. Yes, they just want to say one rightfully belongs to me. I need to that lousy palace me. After all this yes. Oh. This is my right. I will fight. Even if it's going to take the last drop of my blood, I will fight. Naila, I hope you do not have the slightest intention of skimming your way into the prince's house. Is that what this is about? I have nothing to do with the prince. You only want my attention. I've been trying so hard to watch life. I have nothing to do with printing makeup. Okay. Odogu Marco. Odogu, Odogu. I must thank you for bringing my car back to life. It's just like a brand new car now. Idiga, <laughs> it is nothing to worry about. Compared to what you stand to gain since you've chosen to join forces with us. You see, this symbiotic relationship of ours 
have given me the singular majority amongst the king makers of Egypt. You are right, my good friend. You are right. You are right. Tomorrow is a general meeting. A day we have all been waiting for. I shall move a motion that the kingship of Ifite be changed from hereditary to rotation, which will be in line with modern democracy so that we can move this town forward. Honestly, I see reason with you, but I must acknowledge that. It won't be easy. <laughs> Money answers all problems. And I have budgeted enough of it for this project. So there's nothing to be afraid of. I, Malcolm, will make history tomorrow. Drink. 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 I'll wait for tomorrow. <laughs> oh, don't go, don't go. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Good blend of brandy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ugo, ma. I don't know where. Yeah. I think you should go and um, remind the queen of the money that she promised you. And so that we don't lose out from that end. Hmm. I thought I should wait for her to send for me now. Mbano, Mbano. Ah, Ugo, Mbano. Um, you see, it is the person that wants something that stretches her hand further. <laughs> Ugo, Ma. I don't know where you are. As I am talking to you now, Inche Ibika has openly declared for Malcolm's camp. And you know how overbearing he can be. You know Ichi Ibi can now. I know you know. Yeah, you know. I know. Oh. You see, I have to make myself more open in Malcolm's camp. So that I will tell them that I have positioned myself to become the next owner of Ifite when Malcolm takes over. <laughs> My super husband. I'm gonna win. This is why I love you. In that case, I think I should pay a visit today. Uh, hey, Ozimo, <laughs> Ozimo. <laughs> Very soon, Ugo. The children will start coming back to demand for their school fees. Mm. And you know how heavy their financial demand for our honors. It is a game of trombone, 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 trombone. Go, 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 go immediately. You're right, my husband. Yeah. I must get the money so that nothing stands in your way. I'm going to win. Do you think I don't want to be a wife too? Oh no. Ha ha! Ugo! You will be a... <laughs> you will be... <laughs> you will be the wife of... Oh no! Who of you be there? I'm a real... Ha ha! Hey! Ugo! I didn't care it's not taken. You will be the queen of everything. <laughs> Are you planning on becoming the king? <laughs> hey. Huh? Ugo Ma. Ugo Ma. Everything is possible. Once we use Malcolm's money and connection to make the kingship of Ifite rotational, anything is possible. <laughs> Remember? Throbom? <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. It's about the money you intend to give to Chiyama's wife. Mm -hmm. What about it? Your Majesty, if you lend her that money, she will not return it. How do you know and how sure are you? I can't explain it, Your Majesty. But I've learned not to disobey such feelings when they come. going on? Are you still interested in our relationship or you want to end the rest of your life with that palace? <laughs> this is preposterous. How, how can you even imagine a thing like I that? I didn't imagine it. I saw it. Sophia, I am not interested in any other woman. Baby, listen. All I want is you. I love you. Okay, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. That's easier said than done. The last time I checked, I still have my index finger without a ring. Listen, babe. Listen. I need some time to sort out some small problem. Okay, just some small problem, okay? And everything will be alright. Come on, give me that smile. That we just make Come on. Come on, man. I've got something to show you. You really love me. You need to show me. That's a good idea. Thank you. Contained in those envelopes in your hands is a sum of 50,000 naira each. It is for your transport. But I insist that we all gather here again before we proceed to the meeting. That way we will get to know who and who is on our side. Agreed. You are nine in the council. 
But here we have one, two, three, four, five. Five out of nine gives us simple majority. So it doesn't matter who moves the motion for the changing of the kingship from hereditary to rotation. What is important as far as I am concerned, Malcolm is concerned, is that if we succeed in this ambition, then by the evening, each and every one of you here will be 150,000 Naira richer. So, what I want you to do is, you do your part. And I'm okay, man. You meet up your part of the bargain, I meet up my part of the bargain. And that's it. So, can we drink to it? was left out of place after I had finished working in your room. I left my room in a perfect condition, only to come back and find out that it was in a mess. There were things on it. One of you had definitely played a prank on me, a costly prank at that. And if you don't want to see my anger in the darker side of me, you better start talking. Your Highness, I didn't do anything, no. I didn't, I didn't say, I didn't do anything. Your Highness, I was never in your room today. I, I didn't go there, Your Highness. My prince, I swear to God, it, it wasn't me. I swear to God. Whose bounty is this? I didn't do it, my prince. I swear, yes, the, the plant is mine, but I, I, I couldn't have left it in your bedroom. When I left your room, everything was in place. I, I couldn't have taken this into your bedroom myself. I, I didn't do it. I have three reasons why I should be angry at you. First, you were the one that cleaned my room. Secondly, this is your garden plant. What is your plant doing on my bed? Thirdly, you know everything. You see everything. So you should be able to tell me this. No, no, no. I know nothing about this. I, I couldn't have put this in your bedroom. When I cleaned your room, everything was in place. I didn't touch anything. I beg for your mercy, my prince. Nino said I know nothing about this. I, I couldn't have put this there. I, there is an enemy in disguise that we need to know that causes all these problems. We really need to know. An unknown enemy in the house. Hey, Your Majesty. May you live long. Oh, Goma. Yes, Your Majesty. How are you? I'm fine. You are welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. So, how is your family? Everybody's fine, though. I just thought I should come and see you. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you, Your Majesty. Just to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, what can I offer you? Hey, Your Majesty. I don't think I'm in the mood to take anything. Mm -hmm. I just came for something that is very important to me and my family. This is serious then. Now tell me, my sister, what is the problem? You know, Your Majesty, for some time now I've not been doing anything. And you promised to give me 500,000 naira so that I can start something. Hey, Your Majesty, this is why I've come to know if you have been able to raise this money for me. Mm. Actually, I intended giving you the money 
this week. But since you are going to be the wife to the owner under King Malka, <laughs> shut up! Don't you ever dare interrupt me again. Not only being his wife, events might decide to turn and you become the queen. That way, you don't really need the money because you'll become very rich. Ugoma, get out of my house. Asak, out! Money-making machine, eh? I'll show you the other side of it. Very soon. Udewe! Oh, here you are. Udewe, how are you? Uh, Malcolm. Yes, sir. Why do I keep having this feeling that you are too daft? Don't remember the sayings of our people. That when a man listens and dances to the flute of a woman, he doesn't know when he jumps across to the land of the dead from the living. <laughs> ah, Udewe, save your breath. Save your breath. I didn't come here to fight you. No. I don't know why it is that each time you see me, you begin to panic and shake and quake. No. <laughs> I just came to inform you that I set up uh, an emergency meeting between you and uh, your elders in council. You set up? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> and because I am not one of them, so I can't be there in the meeting. Yeah, so I just gave them a right. Yeah. And uh, again, I'm very sure that whatever you're going to be discussing with them, you will find it very interesting. Yeah. And uh, most importantly, um, these are elders, progressive elders of Ifite. I want to say thank you. Thank <laughs> you very well. <laughs> Who did it? We shall see. Indeed. <laughs>
Father, you should have sent for me when they came. I told you it, it, it not got to that. No, Matthew thinks he has a lot of money so he can persecute any kind of war. But I am going to make him run for his money. I am going to put plans in motion and fight him to a standstill. Oh, please, my son. I plead to you to listen to your father. He knows he has a warrior in you. But when the time comes, he will not hesitate to hand over every fight to you. Please. No, but do you both agree that he has bitten more than he can chew? Yes, son, he has. But the wisdom of our people says that when a little boy ties the wrapper prematurely, when the wind comes, it will not only blow away the wrapper, but also carry away the boy. I have heard you, Father. Naila, <laughs> it's not fair that you refuse to talk to anybody. Look, you didn't do what the prince accused you of. And you shouldn't let it hurt you like this. Huh? Nila, stop now. Please, please. Nila. Please, can you just stop? Please, please. You're hurting yourself even more by crying. always wanted. Kill me and become king. Come on. Go ahead. So you now see yourself as a brave little boy. A toddler that's never earned a dime in his life. That is being fed, spoon fed by his father. And you think you can block my car, block my way, and brace up to me, Malcolm? Thank you, God. I'm not with my boys. Those crooks, those rogues, those arm robbers who make you feel important? You don't mean to insult me. You were the first to insult me. Not just me, but my father. Now listen to me. Stay away from my family. Especially that throne. My father's throne. It belongs to royalties like me, Emeka, not to losers like you. Emeka, you don't need to insult. Hey! 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 Great war. Great war against the throne. Great war. Enemies everywhere. Mm -hmm. What could be the cause of this? Great war. War in the palace. I'm facing so much battle. Great war against the throne. I'm facing so much battle. Enemies.
Afternoon. Good afternoon. You may leave us. Yes. Your date of birth. Hmm? Your date of birth. What about it? It tells me that you are under a curse of a snake which has been causing misfortunes in your life. Curse. A snake. Um, <laughs> sorry, how does that affect my relationship? I'm sure my friend told you why I'm here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing can work between both of you except the cause is broken. You need Nega Panchami to break that curse. And on that day, the curse will be broken. That is the day you have, you will be in good terms with Ketu and Rahu. Who are you talking about? I don't know them. And what day are you talking about? Had it been you were here last month, July, you would have had your problems solved on the 25th and 26th which happens to be the two days that can bring positive changes in your life. Um, so, is there nothing else that can be done to fix this? Uh, is there? <laughs> you have another chance on the 14th of August, in two days' time. If only you can get your man to propose to you. What? The 14th of August is the day the Sun and Mercury are in quadrangle position with the Moon, which occupies the zodiac signs of Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces, and Gemini. This Planetary positions are favorable to peace and harmony in marriages. Two days. Two days is too short a notice. I'm... Just two days? I can't... You have no other choice. You need remedial services in order that you can have peace with Rahu and Ketu. Oh, you know two days is too okay. Young lady, you don't have enough time. You may go. believe it that Idika of all people could betray you and join forces with Malcolm. Yes. He must have been the insider that Malcolm was talking about all along. You need to see the look on the face of his wife when she came to collect the money that I promised her. Hmm. Hmm. I told her that she shouldn't worry. She will soon become rich when she becomes Malcolm's or Noah's wife. Oh, but that's still when she becomes the next queen of your feet. <laughs> Greetings, Father and Mother. How was it, this, son? Confronting Malcolm made my day fantastic. You confronted Malcolm? Yes, Father. I warned him in the strongest of words to stay away from this family and our throne. I didn't fight. Emeka. Mother.
Aïe Can you can save an Obogwano in so? Acharuku, Acharanta. You are the mother of pythons. Yet, you allow the common cobra to disgrace me. Me! I have asked questions. Yet, the secret of this cobra has been hidden from me. I know that this cobra is set to destroy the royal family and it has to be stopped. Ugoma. How did the queen get to know about this? <laughs> I've asked myself that question and I can't find an answer. You needed to have seen me there at the palace. I just wish the ground would open up and swallow me. So we have lost the money. <laughs> Is it not obvious? <laughs> Ugoma. Man. There is no way we are going to get ourselves into the good book of the royal family again. I think it's time I openly supported Malcolm. In fact, I will spearhead the fight against Igwe Udeikwe to show Malcolm that I can be a fearless yes. and dependable Oh no, The lion himself. You're my husband, this body. That's why I trust you. Eh? Odubu Kebo. Odubu Kebo. Ah ah. How can they just shoot us up like that? So far, that's what it's going to be like. Your Majesty, uh, my prince, we have a visitor. Did you get a visitor's name? Erika, my prince. Erika? Yes, my prince. Tell him I'll be with him presently. Okay, my prince. Father, I'll be back. Yes, ma. I'll be with you in a moment. Your Majesty, um, from my evaluation, that girl should be taken to a psychiatric hospital for proper professional attention. I strongly believe that uh, it is the only way the ailment could be permanently put to rest. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, please make all the necessary arrangements to take her to the hospital. Yes. Her Majesty, I'll do that immediately. Thank you. There's an enemy in disguise that we need to know. That causes all these problems we really need to know. An unknown enemy in this house. Ah, here we go. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. How's it going? Sit down, sit down. Let me tell the police to bring you some drinks. There will be no need for that, my friends. Are you serious? I came here for a very serious issue. So, what is it, Prince Emeka? I have been under some very serious spiritual attacks lately. And it all started after I had made some good money and started living big. I have gone to several places for solutions, but to no avail. I came to see you because I heard that Chibo, our friend, was killed by a snake that nobody else saw. 
believe you me, the attacks on me have been by very vicious coppers. I have a hunch that it has to do with the snake you killed several years back. But it will be validated if you confirm that you have been having any kind of encounter with snakes. Make sure you pay for it. Oh, sorry. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. 
Igwe. Igwe. No one expects an owl when the night is still a total stranger. Igwe, you will live long. In the mouthpiece of the of the gods. My ears are itching. And I will keep you waiting, Your Majesty. The gods have finally spoken. The snakes you have been seeing are just warnings of imminent death. Your Majesty, you are to hand over the kingship of Ifite to your son, Emeka, with immediate effect. Yes. Are you out of your senses? I am only but a messenger of... You must be out of your skull. Now you go and tell them that I will not be party to this kind of nonsense. How can you say my son will rule while I am still alive? That is an abomination. And I will, I will not be party to that kind of abomination. Your Majesty, the cobras will strike you to death if you don't do what they say. I only... The gods have got it wrong this time. Tell them. Tell them and tell them that I say that they have got it wrong this time. Ah. Tell them. Baby. I want to apologize for everything that happened. I'm really... Mm. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> Let's just forget about the past and talk about the future. <laughs> you know, you and I, we can do a whole lot of things together. We'll be so perfect together. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so how do I make it up to you? Mm. Mm. Well, by giving me that one thing every right thinking woman will appreciate. Um, well, I can't seem to place my finger on it, so just tell me and I will buy for you. Is that a promise? That's more than a promise. Okay, um... I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> no, wait, wait, I'll tell you Are tomorrow. Are you serious? Yeah, you want to hear what I have to say. Excuse <laughs> Yes, you can. Just, I'm going to tell you tomorrow. Don't be in a hurry. Just relax. You know. Wait. Naima. Naima. Mama can hear you. You've been like this all day. You're only hurting yourself by being here all alone, not talking to anybody. Ma, if one of you could betray me, I thought it best that I stay on my own. Naila, now. Ah, don't see it like that. We need each other right now. Just look at Chisum. I don't know if it's because she feels higher than the rest of us, that she has gone mad. She went mad. What happened to Chiso? I can't really tell you. All I know is that she suddenly started acting weird. Like, to cut the long story short, she has been taken to a psychiatric hospital. That's serious. Very, very, very serious. It's serious. Ayla. Her Majesty wants to see you immediately. Her Majesty. Naira. Your Majesty. What do you think about the happenings in this family? Especially the snakes. Malcolm and my son. I have tried to make him settle down with a wife. But he seems more interested in other things. Tell me, what can you say about it? Malcolm spells doom, Your Majesty. But with determination and strength of purpose, the royal family will certainly triumph. 
The threat of this family and your son is Sophia. What about her? Right. I have this feeling, Your Majesty. She, she's trying to lure, or rather force the prince into marrying her. And if the prince marries her, that will bring disaster to this family. Are you sure? No, I, I can't say for sure, Your Majesty. But if by tomorrow she openly asks the prince to marry her, then know that I'm right. You are going to become king, but not until after I have reigned and joined my ancestors. What happened? Not I. I just came back from Sophia's house and I, I didn't like the look father gave me at all. I mean, I thought that was the worst thing he could do, only for him to walk up to me and tell me I'm going to be the next king. But that is going to be after he's dead. Why would your father say such a thing like this to you? Was it a joke? If I didn't notice the venom in his voice, I'd have thought it was a joke. I went to his room, but he wouldn't open up. No matter how long and, and loud I knocked, I... That is strange. Anyway, son, please do not take it to hurt. I'll speak with him tomorrow and find out exactly what it is all about. Hmm? Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll just be my... Amy. I know you are not in the right form of mind for me to tell you what I want to discuss with you now. What is it? Sophia, she may try to cajole and push you into proposing marriage to her. Please, no matter what, do not agree with her. What is going on? First it was father, now it is you. Tell me, is there something I should know? What is going on? It's not hearsay. It's what I saw with my eyes. Malcolm is almost running mad. Mm. Yes. I attempted to find out from him what was wrong. Now, all the things he was saying were things I could not fathom. I think the gods are beginning to fight him. Well, the gods may be fighting him, but I think your son, Emeka, hit him where it matters most. What do you mean? In one of Malcolm's same moments, he told me that Emeka came to his house to warn him to stay away from the throne and he refused. I heard about that. And he told me that the last time Emeka confronted him, that he turned into a cobra. My 
son turned into a cobra. Igwe, Igwe, I was only wondering if anything is the matter. Sometimes the burden of being a king weighs me down. Your Majesty, I understand. I would like to retire now. All right, Your Majesty. May you live long. I beg to take my leave. Go well. What? In the palace, great war, great war against the throne, great war, enemies everywhere. Mm -hmm. What could be the cause of this great war? War in the palace, facing so much great battle, great war against the throne. Father, you may live long. So Mecca, yes, Father. Do you mind explaining to me the mystery behind the uh, cobra that we've been seeing in this palace? Father, how, how am I supposed to know? What have I done to you that you have decided to pay me back with, 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 with evil? I, as a father, I have treated you and given you everything a father should give his son. And yet, you want to, uh, you are treating me with evil. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I equally want to find out what is going on. So why are you accusing me of, 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 of something I know nothing about? What is going on here? Your son. Ask your son why he has decided to be wicked to his family. <laughs> your son wants to become the king. You think I am a coward like Malcolm? Do you think you can scare me off by becoming uh, 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 a cobra? Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Father is accusing me of turning to snakes. Please, 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 please. It's all right. This is not good for the family, eh? eh? Oh, please, every one of you, calm down. Let's talk this over. Talk over what? I said. Over what? Driving off to with your gate wide open back to the city. To the city. We have a war to prosecute against King Udebe. Capital. God punish you and God punish your entire family. Did I hear you? You heard me loud and clear. I said, if you do not want God to punish you and your entire family, Chifao, you better go to the evil. Go to the king and apologize to him on my behalf. I forgive you. You heard me. Apologize to King Kudewe. Tell him that I'm no longer interested in the kingship. I am going back to the city. The city, here I come. Let me go and mind my business. Finish. See the house you can take the house. God, no. Oh. 
you something to drink? Then don't worry, listen. I'm not in the mood to drink, right? I'm just not in the mood. Baby, are you okay? <sighs> what happened? I had a fight with my father. I mean, I had a quarrel with my father. And I was very angry and I thought I should just come here. But baby, you're supposed to be here today. Well, I'm here. <laughs> you know what? You need to ease some steam. You need to ease your mind, free yourself. Guess what? Let's go for my friends and get to the party. <laughs> Babes, I... I really wish I could go, but I, I'm not in the mood for parties. Baby, look, everyone is getting married, everybody's getting engaged. Let's not be left out in this one. Let's go share in a joy. Sophia, listen. I, Amika, I, that is your problem. You're always so upset. What is it? You know what? What? Let's get married. <laughs> let's get married. Let's go leave our own. Let's, let's go and have. So, so much fun! You don't like the idea? Babe, look, ask me to marry you right now. I am going to say yes. I won't even hesitate. I'll say yes. Just say, Sophie will be my wife. And I'll say, yes, Amika, I will be your wife. You will live long, Your Majesty. You will be blessed. I am told that you are asking for my son. That's true. Unfortunately, he's not in now. So how may I help you? Well, I come with a message for your son's friend, Erica. He said she should warn him because he could be the next victim of the cobra that they dressed Cobra? What cobra? Who is Erica and where is he? Erica was their son's friend, but he's dead now. What? When? When did he give you this message? Shortly after he gave me the message, he died. It was this afternoon. Uh, anyway, I thank you very much. I will surely relate this message to my son as soon as he comes back. Thank you, Your Majesty. Baby, look, just say it. And I'll say yes. <laughs> Ask me to be your wife, I'll say yes. Just, just say it. Baby, oh, I'm sorry. Was it about something I said? Okay, okay. I'll I'm just okay. I'm just okay. I'm I'm just it's it's only I'll see you. Babe, baby. No, baby, no. Your Majesty, I want to know what brought the issue of Emeka wanting to be a king and at the same time turning into a cobra. I do not wish to have an argument. Leave me alone. I am not arguing with you. Is there something you and Emeka are not telling me? You know more than you're pretending to know. 
Is that what you think? Is it about me now? Okay, you are right. I know more than what I pretend to know. Your Highness, do you know that Emeka's two friends, Chibo and Erika, are dead? They were beaten to death by cobras. Did you say by cobras? <laughs> Maybe your son paid his friends a surprise visit and beat them to death over something that he has not told us yet. Your Highness, that is absurd. This is your son that we're talking about. How can you think about him in that manner? Oh, I have done a lot of thinking. And I know what to do. <laughs> but I wish to be left alone. I said I wish to be left alone. There's an enemy in disguise that we need to know. That causes all these problems we really need to know. An unknown enemy in this house who came for revenge, who came to kill and destroy. We need to know. You are a fool. You are a fool for not accepting that we have lost out. Malcolm is running mad right now. And you and I will run crazy if you don't get out of my house. Get out of my house right now. I don't know why I allowed you to talk me into, into abandoning the way for Malcolm. I don't know why. I don't know why. I did not talk to eh? you. You did. I did not. I only brought you a proposal from Malcolm. It is your greed. It is your greed that talks you into whatever you are in right now. You dare not insult me, Amoro. You dare not. You and never you ever refer to me as a greedy man. Never ever. After all, you are worse. I know. Very I greedy. am greedy. Uh -huh. So don't bother saying it. Idiga, get out of my house. Get out of my house before I descend on you with the fury of all that I have lost in this enterprise. Get out. What have you lost? Get out. I'm already on my way. I'm already on my way. Nonsense. Mother, what is it you were telling me on the phone about Erika? A man came here to say that Erika told them that you might be the cobra's next victim. Erika, what is this cobra business that I don't know about? But I don't know. I'm just at a loss like you. know that Sophia will ask me to propose the word today. Did she? Who told you? How did you know? Naila told me. Sophia would ask me to marry her today. I was with Her Majesty. She asked me what I thought about Sophia and yourself. I told her what came to me. I don't think I said anything bad, my prince. And what do you know about all the cobras that has been haunting people in this family? Cobras? I don't know anything about the cobras. Don't you deserve things that come to you or you're just playing one god and toying with the feelings of everybody in this family? I don't know, my prince. I can't explain how it happens. I just get to know these things. And I don't always say them for fear of what people will think. What about what I will think? We are going to have a long day if you... You get it up! 
See you before. I know everything you have told my mother. Who told my father that it's either I take the throne or he will be bitten by a snake to death? I didn't tell your father anything. I swear. I. Ezezu. He told your father. How do you know that? I can't explain it. I can't explain my prince. It, it came to me. Listen, don't be too comfortable because I'll be back. Under a lot of pressure. It's from one fight to the, to the other. I know the cobras terrorized us in this, in this palace. And then the chief priest says that unless I hand over the, uh, the throne to your elder brother, I'm going to die. But that's not done. Ah, it's only the tip of the iceberg. I heard about Malcolm and his... Malcolm? Uh, <laughs> the almighty Malcolm. He came with his own uh, fight. He wanted to oust me from, from the throne and take over the throne himself. You know what happened to him? No. Oh, he ran out of the community with his tail between his legs, shouting that a, a cobra was after him. Oh, yes. But he, he, he said that um, it was... On sighting Emeka, that Emeka turned into a cobra and chased him. <laughs> How possible is that? I believe that Emeka is behind it. But I'll tell you, I am not going to let him disgrace me. It's okay, Dad. Um, I'm here now. We'll see all this together as a family. Okay? Uh, meanwhile, let me check on Mom, okay? I'll join you again very soon. I have come to question the wisdom and the integrity of the gods. Prince of Ifte, what do you want Ezu to do for you? I want to know why the gods have gone crazy and demand that I become king even when my father still lives. My son, there are things we don't want to happen, but have to accept. Things we don't want to know, but have to learn. And events. We cannot live without, but have to go. What is that supposed to mean? What makes skunk smell is from within. Spare me that. Spare me all that, Ezezu. And tell me in the human language what I need to know. I am not at liberty to discuss things I have no power over. You think this is a joke? You think this is a joke? That I will sit down and watch the gods run my life to their amusement? If you don't tell me what I need to know, you will get lost before I descend on you with the veil of the spirits. Take your mortal hands off me!
still rejecting my calls. I need to make him propose to me today. Oh. Yes, yes. Hi, um, I wanted to see to make her, but the security man said I should just wait by her. story is as mysterious as it sounds. This has been happening in the palace without anyone really caring to open up to me. My father, we all decided to keep it as a secret. I think we will go and see Ugon Naya. Who is Ugon Naya? Ugon Naya is one of the last few elders, also titled men, who cannot lie. What do you mean by he cannot lie? Ugon Naya lives in the truth says the truth at all times. He knows well beyond generations. Though he is old, but spiritually he is clean. His presence alone is famed to ward off evil. What? It's late now. I suggest you come very early so that we will go and see him. My only prayer is that you'll be strong enough to do something for you. Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. God, you know I'm not desperate of others, but why would I be denied what is mine? I won't have this kind of a sleepless night again, no. They will have to kill me if they want, but nothing is going to stop me from seeing Emika this morning. Not using a stupid snake to chase me away. <laughs> I must see Emika today. Yesterday and today are still the same thing, and I am going back to that palace. Daddy, 
Don't tell me you slept on the throne. <clears throat> Son, internal strife is the worst kind of situation a king could ever wish to find himself in. And since I cannot wish it away, and since I cannot wish it away, I am going to sit here until either your brother or the gods come and take what rightfully belongs to me. Daddy. Daddy, no one is taking your truth from you. That I can promise. Please, I don't want you involved. I don't want you clashing with your brother. I waited for him so as to hear what he has to say. But it's obvious he has fled the palace because he has been unmasked. Hmm. Oh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. The vulture has always been thankful to the gods for sparing the lives of uh, elders who inform the children that it is not killed for food. My son, you should be thankful to the Hordo. Years before your mother was conceived, your ancestors dedicated the land before the Ojita stream for the worship of a strange deity. They appease the deity annually with a fowl. The deity protected your ancestors and flourished them. But as the years passed by, the choice for blood, the deity protected and flourished your ancestors. But as the years rolled by, the choice of blood changed from fowl to goat and then to cow. One day, it woke up and demanded for human blood. Your grandfather was a nice man who did not want to shed blood. He left the deity unattended and it has been like that for years. Emeka, do you know the land he is talking about? Yes. You see, the deity fought your ancestors' enemies with very vicious cobras. You killed one of those cobras as a child. Do you remember? Yes. Yes. Yes, but... But we were three that day. Ogbo is dead, and then... Erika too. Is it the same Kruber that is responsible for their death? Yes. And it is also responsible for all that has been happening in your father's house. This is the time to seek for the end to the beginning of grief in the royal household. It has just begun. What has just begun? The complete annihilation of your family. What? Yeah. Come on, let's go.
Later I look at you and there's something I don't understand. And the more I try, the more it eludes me. Is there something you want to tell me? I don't understand what you mean. My friends. Will I be wrong if I say there's something carnal about you? You're carnal? I still do not understand what you mean, my friends. What are you really doing here? I'm here to serve the real family. If your psyche was better, you would have known that there's something more kind about me. What do you say? I'm Gololo! You know that, you know that, you know that, I'm Gololo! I'm going I'm going I am going to fight. You don't scare me anymore. You have caused enough hatred and trouble to this family. You can no longer Tell me what to say. I will now say the truth as Ezu has revealed it. Oh, yeah. Hey. 
that you now. Oh, but he's still breathing. I don't know. Myla, 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 Myla. Haven't you done enough damage to this family? What? You fool! Perhaps I have. Perhaps I haven't. I was actually having fun. Pitching every member of this family against the other. And now that I've had enough fun, I will wipe you out! No. No. Nela, it's not you. What? You know nothing about me. You don't know what it feels to be abandoned for years by those who brought you into existence. You don't know how it feels to be mocked at amongst immortals. Your forefathers wanted to have the most powerful deity and the only better kingdom. That was how I came into existence. Only to be abandoned after I had made them rich and strong. Emeka, you and your friends killed my messenger. And like your friends, I will kill you now that you have reached the age of manhood and about to taste real success. I'm not dying, no. Light and darkness have nothing in common. But their paths are bound to cross when their boundaries are not respected. You, you were scared of responsibility. That was why you lied. You lied and you didn't see snakes when you did see them. You, you, you killed him. I, 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 I didn't kill him. We all join him. Light has always triumphed over darkness. Good over evil. He was innocent when he killed your messenger. He was only a child. But he is human! He's human. He is human. Your test for blood will be your death. Ignited. I will also kill his family for killing my messenger. I live in the light of truth and I am a messenger of purity. You can only get to them through me, but you must release that poor girl you possessed and have manipulated into pitching my ego and his son against each other. Quiet your mouth! Please wake up. 
who, who is that? Who? What's the matter? If something is wrong with Naila. Oh, my daughter, there is nothing wrong with Naila. What has held her bondage has left her and she is free. Just like this household is free. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Give me a hand. Oh, sir. Oh, no. Thank you. Oh, I thank you all. I thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I shall send a thank you. A little thank you to you. Mm. <laughs> it's all right. It's thank all right. Thank you. Bless him. Thank you. Mm. Um, we are free. <laughs> um, well, don't no stand around. Get this thing back to where it should be. Yes. I heard that each time this girl spends in this palace brings us closer to chaos. And I say to you in the strongest of all terms, she is not living this palace. She is living whether you like it or not. This issue is way beyond you and you have no control over it. No, what has she done to you that you are thinking so unreasonably? What? I am not going to allow you to punish that innocent girl over what she has no control over. How sure are you? How sure are you? I don't think you are. Grow up, brother. Just grow up and stop allowing this girl to intrigue you. Come on, Emeka. You know this girl was being used. I don't really understand are you why. Are listening to yourself? Are you making any sense? I don't need to make any sense to you, brother. I don't need to. But all I need you to understand is that you'll be meting out injustice to an innocent soul if you should support I'm not supporting anything. I insist that she leaves this palace and that is what father has to come to terms with. Stop it! Stop it, Shemeka! Stop it! I can't even sleep. Mama, you're sleeping. What did this snake cause you from behind? What is the proof I don't see? Let's go to the room and say, no, I'm not sure you're going to be in the room. What? What are you saying? Aren't you supposed to be in your room? Yes, Your Majesty. Yes. Then go to your room. Yes, Your Majesty. Go to Your Majesty. Go to Your Majesty. She is a maid in the palace, possessed by a deity, deity, deity. She is a maid in the palace, possessed by a strange spirit. She is a maid in the palace, possessed by a deity, deity, deity. She is a maid in the palace, possessed by a strange spirit. I need to speak with both of you. Sit. What are you doing in my house by this time of the night? It is for our own good that I'm here. For our own good. Iche Amo. Are you not tired of being nobody in this town? I'm here because uh, I think 
there's an opportunity for us to be king makers again and have cash in our pocket. What are you talking about? I have an impeachable information that Prince Emeka was not the spirit behind the cobra that sent the Malcolm out of the town. It was one of the palace mates. And right now, she has been excised of the demonic influence that possessed her. It's not powerless. And how is that supposed to make us kingmakers again? I can see that uh, poverty has blinded their foresight. Eh? Don't you see the possibility of going to convince Malcolm to come back, to become the way? Don't you? Is it possible? It is worth a trial. It's worth a trial before hunger finishes us and our families. It's worth a trial. Ladies, what are you doing? I'm trying to go with some tea. I'm trying to sleep up. I can't even seem to find sleep. Do you need to catch some sleep up? All this while, I was thinking I'm the cursed one. I never knew I was suffering from some wicked common servants. Oh God, my dear. It's over. I told you she has been delivered of her dark powers. So what I said, but how am I sure? How am I supposed to believe that? We should be concentrating on her. It's how to get a maker to put a ring on that your finger. That's what's important to you. I sure will. I'm trying. But, but it's not fair. What's my business with her? Why, why, why do I have to suffer for her wickedness? Why? Relax. Go and sleep. You need sleep. I wish I could. I wish I could. Say that again. <laughs> I really thank God that all that is in the past now. Yes. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> hey, Igwe, may you live long. What brings you to my palace? Igwe, I was mandated by Malcolm to inform you 
that he will soon return home to possess what is rightfully his. He will be drawn of if he did. Do you know that I can have your head dangling on a rope in one minute? Yes, he will. God! I know that everyone is not happy with me. But it wasn't my fault. We all know it wasn't your fault. But you need to understand that we need some time to adjust to the normal you. Yes. Yes. You're right. It will take time. Don't worry, you'll be just fine, okay? Welcome to my home. Uh, I, hope, I hope I have saved. Uh, I, hope I, have I hope I have saved. I hope I have saved. You win. You win. How is the family? You're welcome. Begin the way. Oh, you already have it. Oh, you already have it. It is better here in the city. <laughs> I had to come back to this <laughs> Malcolm, no, no, no. You see, Malcolm. Wait, wait. You see, when I heard that idiotic statement about you, I took it upon myself to go to the palace and confront that FBG that calls himself Igwe. Do you know what he did? The idiot ordered his guards to beat me. I'm a rocko. I'm a runez he goes in any way. Me! To beat me, blue black. Hmm. I'm sorry about that. Very, very sorry about that. Uh, but <clears throat> I want to ask you. From your statement, are you trying to tell me that it was not a mecca? That turned, changed into a cobra. No, it was not a mechanic. <laughs> it's a stale news now. You see, it was a common palace maid that was manipulating everybody in the palace. You see, but what paid me? It paid me that a whole market, a whole market, could be chased away from his hometown like a pussy guy. Can we shut up your mouth? Oh, you can wire your in that case, now, what do you people think? Eh, <clears throat> well, since the Udeque family have decided to rubbish your hard earned name, your hard earned reputation, your hard earned image, your hard earned personality, your hard earned money, and gather all of them and throw them into the bush. <laughs> I think it is time you return home and take what is rightfully yours. Which is? <laughs> Malcolm, the throne of the city! The throne of the city! You are true already. You are true. You are true, Malcolm. Prince Gossi, I must confess, you are quite unpredictable. What do you mean by that? You were the first to object to my stay in this house. You know? Yeah, I know. Now that everyone is scared of me, you're the only one who's comfortable around me. I 
Why did you do that? You know, I'd force and torture you to invite me. Well, I think it's an excellent idea. I mean, the doctors have given her a clean bill of health. So, why shouldn't she come here? But you know how it is like with those people who have been over that threshold. And that's the more reason why she should be here. Look, if we pushed her out and she broke down, People will say we have used her for uh, rituals, so we have used her for this, or for that, or for that. But if she's here, if anything happens to her, we'll give her medical attention. Take care of her. Hmm. I think you have a point there. Yes. Thank you, my dear. Thank you.
possessed by a strange spirit. She is a maid in the palace, possessed by a deity. deity, deity. She is a maid in the palace, possessed by a strange spirit. Touched by still not felt, known but still unknown. Yeah, Majesty. You sent for me. Leila. There has been a lot of harrowing lately. And I can still feel the effect on every one of us. Every member of this palace is a little bit scared of you. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. No, my prince, I... I don't understand what you're trying to say. Put the feelings of every member of this family into consideration and do the right thing. The right thing? Yes, the right thing. Just walk out. My, my prince, I... You're asking me to... to leave the palace? Yes. <laughs> Now that I'm back in the village, I want us to start from where we stopped. But before I make any commitment, you see that girl in the palace? The one that usually turns into a snake. I want her to leave the palace. But she is no longer a threat. I don't care if she's a threat or not. I just want her out of the palace. I am reassuring you. I'm Oro. You shall take care of that. You can take care of that. Effectively. Okay? Good morning, What? You still have a role to play there, you know? That is not a problem. Ah. Uh, that's right. There's nothing I'm not capable of. I just want you to get to work. Get to work. Now I know why you don't want her to leave. Are you sure you're okay? To help with that stupid statement of yours. You've been going behind everybody, snaking around with that snake of a girl. Why wouldn't you leave her for everybody to have peace in this palace? Why? How cold-blooded can the brother be? Snuggling with the same snake of a girl who killed my friends, my two best friends. You don't have any right or whatsoever to tell me who to see. If anybody is responsible for the deaths of your two friends, that person is you. And all he needs is just a little friendly wind to whisper how you were responsible for those deaths. And those masses out there will see that there is no saint in you. And they will know the kind of king they are going to have tomorrow. You have talked out of tune right now. And I want you to apologize to me. Oh no! You owe me an apology for badging in on me. And let's not forget, Nina is going nowhere. Unless you want that little friendly wind to start whispering. Hello, 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy at all that she's been moved out of this palace. Uh, but who am I to go against the wishes of uh, Ugonaya? Do you think it has something to do with the return of Malcolm back to the village? Well, that is why I am preempting by moving her out. I heard they had a fight. I, I heard. So, you and Emeka are together in this, eh? Well, I mean, what, Emeka will be king one day. He has to learn to take decisions. Based on what is on ground, right now, it is either you are with us or you are against us. We can help you get hold of Prince Emeka or we can make things very, very difficult. Emeka is more important to me than any other thing. Exactly! In that case, I will arrange a meeting between you and Malcolm he will compensate you for losing out as the future queen. <laughs> Do I really have a choice? At least, you should be happy that you are not going to lose Prince Emeka to that palace mate. Just do what is expected of you. And I can assure you, everything, everything will be fine at the end. Hmm? Remember, this is a game of Torobon, Torobon, Iwelofu. <laughs> Dad, you don't have to be so strict on issues like this. You still need some of them, you know. Mm. You don't understand, son. With elders like them, who needs enemies? Enemies. If they are your enemies, there is more reason to keep them close. Our and Zika are very, very influential people. And they can still make your council viral, you know. Hmm. So what you're saying is that um, I should bring them back. Exactly. Grant them your pardon. Bring them back, uh, but not without constant surveillance in all their activities. And uh, perhaps you have a better, effective substitute. Then you can do all with them if you so wish. Look, Dad. I think you need to call a council meeting immediately. Uh, I want to start by thanking you people for giving it necessary to respond to my uh, invitation. You know. And then uh, it'd, be, it'd be nice to inform you that it's not as if I, I am religion on our agreements. I did not abandon you. No, I did not. Uh, it's just like uh, the ram. When the going gets tough, the ram normally does what uh, is called uh, tactical retreat. That's exactly what I did. <coughs> when I'm back, Fortified, Fine. very fortified, to fight the throne of Ifite from the hands. Wrestle the throne of Ifite from the hands of that senile old man. Elders of Ifite, mm -hmm. my ears are not bigger than yours. Hmm? You have heard it from the horse's mouth. Although I was going to be his mother. Before I proceed, I'm going to be here. Hey, uh, uh, 
In the absence of um, refreshment, you know, Malcolm has just come back and he did not prepare any refreshment. He has asked me to inform you that the 10,000 10, naira which I gave to each of us should be used to buy whatever refreshment we deem fit. <laughs> Thanks for the compliments. Yeah, you know as well as I do that you just wanted to have fun with me, Ina. You wanted a full taste of a girl everyone is scared of. You have had your fun. Let her go. We all have our cross to bear. And Nela is my cross for now. Because you know what? No matter how bad this may seem, she's a woman. She has a heart. So you shouldn't toy with it. Did you just say that? Did you, did, you, did you just say that? Perhaps we should send away a, an orphan and, 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 and that will glow her heart. You know as well as I do that you don't love her. Let her go. At least someone who loves her will find her. I love her. Well, on the strength of that, and most importantly, the warnings of Ugunaya. I have decided that uh, Nela will cease to be a member of this family. And she must leave as soon as possible. Yes, Father. I have also had a conscious thinking on the same issue. And I believe that the people will think of it as a sign of wickedness on our part, if we let Leila live without anything. I mean, she, she has not done nothing wrong. What, what, what are you talking about? Don't you know the damage that she has done to this family? Unless she wants us to tell the people. What? Well. Thank you for standing out for Nila. Don't be too content with yourself. I didn't do it for you. Igwe, as I'm talking to you right now, all the elders of Ivite are in Malcolm's house. Strategizing on how to take over your throne. The time has come. I Igwe, Igwe. What, what time? There is nothing wrong with my brother Ichidika. I have not said anything otherwise. All I'm saying is that he knows something you don't. Which is that whoever marries Nela stands a better chance of being the next Igwe. But his next align to the throne, there's no contesting that. And he will do anything to make sure that you don't come close to her. Thank you for standing out for Nila. Don't be too content with yourself. I didn't do it. I think I know what you're talking about. Remember that. Let for him alone. The throne of Ifite will go to another family before you know it. Without them, I understand what you're saying. Thank you very much, Sophia. 
Um, I just came to inform you that Malcolm will see you tomorrow by 12. 12 noon? Exactly. 12 is fine. <laughs> Remember, it is a game of Torobong, Torobong. Hmm? <laughs> what you made me go through. You still have the animal boldness. You have the guts to stand in front of me. Oh, shut up! She saw. What makes you think what happened before will not happen again? Oh my god, you know, I'm really finding it difficult and understanding on how to tear you apart right now. Do you think I do not know you no longer possess the power you used to possess? You are simply empty. You want to try me? <laughs> what makes you think this snake cannot bite again? Myla. Bite me. Naila, bite me. Bite me now, Naila. It's a better bill because I'm tired of the level we have descended to. Once Naila is disgraced out of the palace, she will be angry and bitter with every member of the royal household. And she will not fight anybody who attacks the Igwe. It is only then that Malcolm will declare himself Igwe. But in Nani, is she stopping you? I thought you should be more concerned in making sure the royal of forgets into my consent. Uguma, we are certain that the girl is no longer what she used to be. But Malcolm wants to be sure. Besides, this offer thing is no longer in vogue. All he needs is a staff of office from the government. <laughs> I can't wait. I just can't wait. Father, yes, we've always believed that we take things easy. But this time around, we have to wake up. We have to wake up. We have to fight Malcolm with everything we've got. What has he done? Father, what do you mean by what has he done? Anger. Anger, my son, is the worst kind of enemy at a time like this. I think we should come down. So I will ask you again. What has Malcolm done? Malcolm is organizing elders to take over the throne. Your throne! We can't sit idle. No. Well, take it easy. And in due course, we shall have the opportunity to throw stones. Hard ones. Why would you budge into my room like that? You know you don't have the right to dumb Sophia unless you have some hidden intentions towards Nina. Oh, now I know you are really crazy. You have gone mad. Brother, whatever it is you're planning is not really necessary, you know. You of all people know that I don't have any intention whatsoever to sit on that throne. 
because it's your birthright. And I have so much respect for our traditions. Stop blabbing. What the hell are you talking about? Make things right between yourself and Sophia. No. Who are you to tell me what to do and what not to do? Now get out of my room. Get out of my room! I'm already out. Yeah, my God. Whatever it is that is going on between both of you is getting out of hand. And I want it nipped in the bud. Now tell me, children, what is the matter? Can somebody tell me what is going on? Oh, nobody, none of you is ready to talk. Huh? I'll keep on doing what a mother should do. But I'll tell you, both of you, that none of you, none of you can kill me before that time. Well, I, so I don't keep you waiting. I just want to tell you that the worst mistake you girls will make is to keep allowing Naila staying in that palace with you. But she hasn't... She hasn't done anything wrong to me. Is that what you think? Well, that's what I know. <laughs> Have you ever thought why, since she came back, no one in the palace has been comfortable with her? Yeah, I have. And have you ever wondered why the reason, what the reason is? And in case you don't know this too, she's the one that's responsible for what happened to you. Nobody told you. Alright, I guess we should answer it again. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Naila, that you regained your sanity. Yes! It was that same day! <sighs> Look, God! Both of you can say whatever you want, but I am not going to join you both to fight her. No! Are you say no. Hey! My prince, you have every right to be angry with me. And if you don't want to listen to me, I won't blame you at all. I'm not proud of the present situation I find myself. And I'm not going to sit and watch my children die of hunger. It's you, you can say what you have to say and let me go. I hope you will remember this. And extend your generosity to me from time to time. Huh? It's you, don't try my patience. Just say what you have to say and let me leave. All right. We are aware of the nameless power wielded by one of the maidens in the palace. But what you don't know is that whoever marries that girl stands a better chance of sitting on the throne of your forefathers because her powers have not left her entirely. <laughs> So this is what Kosi is working on. No wonder he wants me to go back to Sofia. So he's been lying to me all this while that he's not interested in being a king. I will take care of this. Yes. I will take care of this. What is more important than what I'm talking about? 
Listen, if Malcolm becomes the king of Ivite, then your dream of becoming the next queen of Ivite will be kissed goodbye. Does that mean anything to you? Well, then you will not be my best friend and the next chief bridesmaid of the queen of Ifite. <laughs> What's funny? Seriously, what's more important to me right now is to get Emeka propose marriage to me. That's all. Then do it. How difficult is that? Get him to propose to you. Sima, you don't know him. You don't know who Emeka is. Seriously, he's a guy you cannot push to do things. You don't force him. Mm. Then I think I know what to do. Except you don't want my assistance. Okay, um, what if I want your assistance? I will make it happen. Yes, sir. It's not so just <laughs> Me. Igwe, the first. <laughs> Igwe. Igwe, you know that um, when you're always angry, you're always talking. I know, you're saying, but before you say anything, you're saying, we must pop one of this champagne. Yes. Okay? This is uh, Martini. I know you're not used to this. <laughs> this is Martini, and, and this is um, well, some kind of champagne. <laughs> and then this is uh, Charlie Magri. <laughs> and then, oh, this is peach. This <laughs> wine from South Africa, from my brother, that from me, called Lancers. So, tell me, which one of these do you want us to pop? Because we want pop something here. Idiga, I want to do it. So this is the one you like. Pop it! This is the one we are used to. Pop it, which I drink it. Congratulations. Igwe, yes. You know, um, when Idika brought up um, that idea, yes. I did not know that it would be so easy mm. getting such sensitive information from those lousy palace guards. <laughs> how, how, how can you say that? Would you have ever believed if someone, if someone ever told you that I, Iwe Malcolm, will keep those ceremonial idiots as far as you believe it? Iwe! Uh -huh, uh -huh, Amor, you will live longer. Yeah. Amor, eh? gather some elders. Gather some youths, okay? No matter how much it's going to cost, tell them they're coming with me tomorrow. Okay? They will be coming with me tomorrow. Igwe! Yes. You've not told us what will happen tomorrow. Mm. Tomorrow? Mm. <laughs> Igwe! Mm. Tomorrow? 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 <laughs> tomorrow? <laughs> oh, tomorrow. <laughs> I have decided. That tomorrow I will have my coronation right on the throne of Udegwe. Yeah. <laughs> and then afterwards we shall march with merriment back to this place. <laughs> <laughs> One life and prosperity. Inika. Inika. I want you to go to Zozo. Tell him I want him here tomorrow. It is done, Igwe. Okay? It is done. Tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a great day. Tomorrow is tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow will be a great day. Igwe! 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 Today I'm going to Tomorrow will be a <laughs> Sorry. What I... How did you get to my bedroom? You're singing. I mean, ringing. I... I've been knocking at the door. I knocked on your door, but there was no answer. So I, I followed the sound of the, the song and I found myself here. I, I sat at the parlor. I, I waited, but no. 
sorry. I am only a messenger. And we answer my con's call as it pleases Ezu. I'm here, Ezuzu, to inform you that Malcolm understands the enormous responsibility in running the affairs of Ezu. And he has asked me to give you this. Will that help me to decide whether to come or not? Ezuzu, a Panwai Tapa does not say everything he sees from the top of the pantry. Bless the money before Ezu and make your supplications. But I was asked to give the money to you and not Ezu. Then tell Malcolm you did not deliver his message. Ezu. I was asked to give this money to Ezuzu, not to you. I'm only a messenger. Ezu, I'm only a messenger, please. Say go. What do you want? I'll call the police. You will not be alive to finish making that call. Sit. Thank God. It's good you're here, Prince Kosi. Who brought the message to you? What message are you talking about? Oh! I thought you came because you had the news. Look, I don't understand you. What news? Ugonaya has gone to be with his ancestors. Gracious God! He's lying peacefully in there. No, 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 no. I came to see Ugonaya and not his corpse. You may go and bear your respect. Why die now? Why now? Some questions are better left unanswered, my son. Chidi, what are you saying? My prince, the leadership of the youth of Ifite has been rescued away from my hands. Chidi, how? How is that possible? You? <laughs> my prince, money answered all things. Malcolm brought plenty of it. And when I refused, my vice connived with other members of the executive. And they took the money. Malcolm dictates the tune the Nam dance to. I will deal with that money back. My prince, I wouldn't advise you go to his house for a fight. Alright, Naila, I'm so sorry. Look, I know I, I spoke out of tune, yeah? I, I said everything that I wasn't supposed to say. I didn't know any of them to hurt you. I, I should have told you some of the things I told her. I was only trying to protect my man. Believe me, please. I was trying to protect him. I can hurt you. I didn't want to hurt you. I can't hurt you. Please. Please, please say something. Please say something. Look, I'm sorry. I'm so 
so sorry. I didn't want to hurt you. I said all of that. I was only trying to protect my man. I, I was trying to protect him. I mean, I not you. I know those words. I shouldn't have said it. I'm so sorry. Laila, you're not talking. Please talk to me. Chat, 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 chat. You need to go. sit here like a coward and let Malcolm and his thugs run over this palace. I don't care if they kill me. I don't care. But I know I'm going to kill as many of them as I can. Simple. Why don't we call in the police? We will not call in the police. There will be no shedding of any blood. We had the opportunity of averting this calamity but we turned it down. So now, we will wait. Wait? Father, did you just say wait? Malcolm has the elders and the youth leaders in his pocket. And from the information we have, they are moving here to the palace tomorrow to crown him as king. And you say we wait? Yes, we wait. We will conduct ourselves Nobly, we will allow them to come in, take whatever they want, and leave. And if they turn violent, Dad, what exactly did Ugonia tell you? Um, he said we should not let Nela go. That means Nela is not responsible for what is going on now. Kosi, Kosi. For a moment, I thought you were going to say something reasonable, something punchy, something militant. We have a war on our hands and all we think about We is have no war on our hands. I'll tell you exactly how we're going to behave tomorrow and that is final.
you succeeded in sending me out of the palace. Are you happy? Can you just say something? Look, I'm so sorry. All I did, I just... I had no interest whatsoever in Emeka. I know he loves you. But what you fail to take into consideration is the fact that he has had too many distractions. You... You forgot? You basically... My friend just called me that Malcolm and his men used me to get you out of the palace. What has that got to do with me? Malcolm is scared you might come after him if they are sat the evening. How did your friend get that information? I don't remember to ask her. Malcolm. Malcolm. He mustn't get away with this. So are you going to fight him? You know what? No bother. Hey, hey, we can see Jay. He will come along your mother. Hey. Help me back then now. Help me back then to stop flogging me. Hey. I was flogging you. Hey. hey, I don't know. Hey, that's what I'm Hey, you better come on, young man. You must come with us now. Immediately. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Come on, hold his hand. 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 Come on, hold his hand.
Are you going to remain like this? Yeah. Yeah. He does not talk. Yeah. He does not talk. He do descend on you heavily to talk again. Yeah. 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 Oh, we we very good, very good. We shall march to the palace because I will be crowned king today. With or without Idika. When I'm done being crowned king, I shall now use my royal fiat to release him. That's what I'm going to do. But Igwe, yes. with what has happened to Idika, I am not sure the Evelzo will be at the palace today. Who cares? Oh, who cares? He's a chief priest. I would expect you should know me more than this. By now, I have the elders, the kingmakers, Modestus, the youth leader, all in my pocket. What are we talking about? I'm going and be crowned king. And I promise you, two days, two days after my coronation, I will get my staff of office from the governor. Don't bother yourself. Go! Go! Arrange the people! Quick! Go! 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 Arrange them! Now listen! Make sure you get everybody. I'll soon be ready, okay? Family will be moving to our house in the city until this uh, nonsense blows over. Father, what about you? Oh, I am going to sit on this throne and wait. I wish for what, Father? You expect me to take to this directive? I should run to safety while you wait here in danger? No, Igwe. I won't. No, I am not waiting for danger. If the people of Ibuja had wanted me to leave, I would have gladly done so. But as it is now, there are people who think they have the authority to decide the future of another human being. They are the ones I have to wait for because I want them to look me in the eye and let them see how they are going, going to go past me. Tell us. Son, someday you are going to sit on this throne. You will appreciate what obedience means.
Godly fight. Godly fight. me what do you want me to do? <laughs> yes. Haven't you heard that Malcolm is preparing to storm this palace? Do you suffer fitting? <laughs> Meaning? Don't you know how violent some frustrated village youths can be? I can't stay here and allow them vent their frustration and anger on me. And I'm leaving this palace right now. Yes? I'm leaving. You're leaving the palace? I begged you to go to the city, but you refused. Like that said, we will all wait for them to come. Look, Mom, we are not going to allow anybody to take what belongs to this family without a fight. No. Please don't do this to me, please. Kusi, go to the other side. I'll be here. And where is my wife? Father, I have ordered him to take the cars and drive to the city. What is the meaning of all these weapons you are carrying? Father, we are not going to allow you to fight all this battle by yourself. You have to pass through us first. Yes, they would have to pass through us first. And believe me, Mother and the maids will be fine. We will all be waiting. If my son thinks that I will leave my husband here and fling down to the city for safety, he has another funk coming.
the others. You left the way they came, Your Majesty. The gods have fought for us. The gods have fought for us. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we are pleased. We are pleased. My dear, we are going to entertain ourselves. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, I trust you to put things together. Exactly. I am. We? Yes, I am going. And I am going to surprise all of you. <laughs> Shall we? Yes. All right, let's go. <laughs>
Am I going deaf? Is all this...